Okay, now that the paint for the three primary colors is dried, we're gonna take a look at doing our secondaries, our green, violet, and orange. Now, along with your five containers of paint, your three paint brushes, a cup of water, you're also gonna need one of the sheets of newsprint that was in your folder. Once you've got it, fold it in half a couple of times. That way it's just a little bit smaller because we, we don't technically have to use the whole page, the whole nine by 12. Uh, plus, you don't want to be eating up a ton of space on whatever tabletop you're working on. So, this is going to end up being our, uh, what we call, tester sheet. So, before I explain what to do with this, I'm going to show you how to mix your secondaries. So, between yellow and blue, we've got green. So if you're ever, ever, ever looking at colors and maybe you're in a painting project later on in the semester and you can't remember how to mix to get green or orange or your violet, if you take a look at the two primary colors that sandwich that color, meaning they're both outside left and outside right, that's gonna tell you which two primaries are needed to mix to get that secondary. So knowing that I need yellow and I need blue, I'm going to take, I'm gonna move my black and white out of the way for just a little bit. I'm gonna open my yellow first, take my big mixing brush, get a good scoop of it, paint it right down here. And then since I'm gonna use my smaller paintbrush to actually mix and paint with, I can take this, I'm gonna put the cap back on my yellow. I can take this brush, and I'm gonna dip it and do the same thing with my blue. But blue is significantly heavier in tone or it's significantly darker than my yellow. So I don't wanna take a full brush load of that blue and add it in. So I'm gonna dip just a very small amount. I've got about a half a brush worth. And I'm gonna take and mix that straight into the yellow that's already on my page. One of the keys when you're mixing a color before you can test it to see its accuracy, you want to be sure that you get rid of any marbling. And I know the marbling can look kind of interesting, can look kind of cool, and it's fun to play around with, but if it's marbled, it's going to give you an inaccurate mixture of that particular color. So I've got what appears to be green. Now I want to check the accuracy of this color green. On the Google Classroom, like I said, I sent a picture of this. Because these are laminated, it, you sometimes don't have a good view at what the hue on these colors are. So if you wanna do a Google search for a completely different color wheel, as long as it's got the hue of those colors on there, that's fine with me. That way you've got a good visual to test with. So here's how you test your color once it's mixed. I've got my color wheel close by, I've got my tester sheet. I'm gonna take one clean, dry fingertip, does not matter what finger you use, and I'm gonna dip just a little bit of this on the tip of my finger. Somewhere on my newsprint, I'm gonna press like I'm given a fingerprint, and I'm gonna swipe down towards me. If you got any left over on your finger, just wipe that off onto a towel. Now, where that color appears to thin, that's going to be roughly what that color ends up looking like once it's on the paper and it's dry. So what I can do now, where my color is thin, I can take and fold this over. And since I've got a hard copy of the color wheel, I can compare it to what I have here. And if I look, I can see that it's a little on the lighter side. So this is almost closer to that yellow green but since I'm shooting for green and I need to darken this up, of the two colors I use to mix blue and yellow, the darker one is going to be what gives me the new tone that I need. So I have to dip this and add a little bit of blue to what I currently have, but I don't want to contaminate my blue. So I've got to take the time, rinse this brush out, dry it off before I mix and I add more blue to what I have. Since I don't wanna go overboard, because I don't like having to mix and dry and clean and dry and clean and dry those brushes, I'm gonna add just a little bit of blue to this. So take a little bit, I'm gonna 
add it in. And then once I've gotten rid of all of that marbling, I can take, test it out on here, press and swipe, fold and compare. And now it appears like I've got the proper hue for my color of green. Once I've got the proper hue, I know what to do next. Hue goes right here, I'm gonna take, just like the previous yellow, blue, and red, corner to corner, edge to edge, be sure you get that whole space well covered. We don't want anything to look washy or transparent. So again, whenever you rinse your brush, be sure you do a really thorough job at drying it. That way, when that color is applied, we get the more accurate hue. Now, as I'm getting closer and closer to finishing, I'm noticing that I might actually end up running out of this hue of green. Well, fortunately, since I have not fallen on my head and lost too many brain cells in the last two and a half to three minutes, I remember what the process is to actually go through and remix that color. So if, you know, when you're working on the secondaries or when we start looking at the tertiaries later, uh, if you run out of that particular color, no big deal. Just remix, but you've got to test it and you want to test it and be sure that it's the same exact hue as your original test. So what I mean by that is, I'm essentially out of my green, I'm gonna remix it, but as I test, my goal is to end with this same exact hue. So it may take a few times of mixing and testing before I get that right. Now, you remember how to do the yellow, the blue, the red, after the hue, you do your tint, then you do your shade. So instead of talking you through how to finish the tint and shade of the green, I'm gonna flip this over to time lapse. I'm gonna let you just follow along and paint along with me. Again, if some of this is maybe a little too fast for you, it's not the end of the world, it's video. You can always pause, rewind, and start all over if you need. All right, here we go.